Okay guys, I'm going to start the curry. I will put the ingredients, oh, it's a bit bright there, sorry. I will put the ingredients in the description below because there is a lot of ingredients in this curry. Okay, I've got my rice cooking in the background. That's just brown rice and it's going to take ages, so let's get okay, started. I've put a decent amount of olive oil in there and to that I'm adding one cinnamon stick, a bay leaf and two cloves. So you just pop those in for a minute until they, like they're already crackling anyway. So once that's done, I'm going to put in three large diced onions. Okay, so the onions cooking away and we're just going to let that cook until they like start to become transparent. I'm going to get on to measuring all my other herbs and stuff out at the moment. Okay guys, this is looking really good and it smells amazing already. Um, next I'm putting in... I have a tablespoon of ground coriander and a tablespoon of ground cumin and I've got half a tablespoon of turmeric that's going in and the next bowl I've got one tablespoon of like the ginger it's just a ginger out of the jar and I've got about two to three tablespoons of garlic put however much garlic in you love because I love this stuff um, yeah, just put that in, give that a good stir. Oh my gosh, seriously, it smells so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put some salt and pepper in now. Okay, guys, I've just diced up, well, not diced, but yeah, sort of normal, decent sized cubes. Chicken breast, I've got 1.1 kilos here. This is Obviously for, well, I'm cooking for six of us, so I've just turned the heat up a little bit, but it's looking pretty good and it's smelling really good. I'm actually going to add um, a couple of tablespoons of sugar, just puts a little bit of a sweet element to the curry as well. So I'm going to do that now. So, yeah, it's about two tablespoons, two, two to three max. Yeah, every time I've made a curry... And I've tried it, you know, when I've been cooking, it's just always been missing something. So I've always been putting something sweet, and I have been known to put a little bit of jam or something like along those lines in there, just to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's just yeah, it gives it that little bit of extra secret ingredient that makes it taste delicious. So we're just going to cook this and then we're going to add in the three big large diced tomatoes and we're going to add some crushed tomatoes as well. Okay, so these are all my veggies I'm putting in. I've got the little corn, red capsicum, big heap of broccoli, I love broccoli, and I've got all the broccoli stem. I just chopped the bottom, bottom bit off the broccoli, kept all that. Um, some asparagus, there's probably a bunch and, uh, yeah, a bunch and a half there I'd say. And I've also got... The water chestnuts drained and the tomatoes here and the tomato just the diced it says tomato puree like on the recipe that i've spotted um but i'm just using some crushed i've just always used the crushed ones okay i've just put all the hard veggies in that were on the tray the only ones i didn't put in yet was the water chestnuts because this is going to get a pretty good beat and get them stirred up and i don't want them all broken up in there and they only really need to be heated anyway. So I'm just going to cook this through a little bit. Probably about seven minutes I reckon. Get them softened up a little tad. And then I'm going to add the tomato puree and the three large uh, diced tomatoes that I did as well. And then I will be putting some coconut cream in after that. Okay guys, this is looking really, really good. It's like, come down a little bit. So... I'm going to add in the three large, large, well, you're supposed to use large diced tomatoes, but I only had one, so I'm using some cherry tomatoes and one big tomato. And I'm also adding in some tomato puree. It's about uh, probably three to four tablespoons of that. So I'm just going to give that a good mix up. Okay, so I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes. I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to cook that for five, and then I'm going to put in the water chestnuts and the coconut cream as well. 
Okay, guys, been five minutes. I'm adding the quarter chestnuts in. And I'm also dipping two tins of coconut cream. This is a light coconut cream. They're so bad. Like, could be up to 80 grams of saturated fat. That's why Indian food is pretty bad. Full of butter and oil normally. This has just got, as you saw, just some olive oil. That's looking pretty good. I'm just going to push all that down. And I'm going to let it cook for probably about 20 minutes. And then, it'll be done. I'm going to just cook some papadums with it. But it looks really good. I'm actually going to have a little taste. And see if it needs any extra. Mmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, it could actually do with a bit more salt, so I'm going to add a bit more salt to it. Okay, guys. Papa dum time. Chuck them in. I don't know if you've ever seen them cook before, but they are super quick. These are good to have with curry too. These are like got about 60 calories for one, so they're pretty good. Normally I put them on paper towel and I get them out, but I don't have any. So. Yeah, that's as easy as it gets. Pretty good. The kids love them. I think last time we had curry skull, I ate like nine poppadoms. Which is crazy, little piggy. Just be careful because sometimes this oil does spit. And the last few curries ago I actually got burnt. Spat at me and I had some little blisters on my fingers. So that was fun. Said nobody ever. So I'm just going to keep going and cooking these. And then I'll show you all of it once it's done. Okay guys, got the wraps out ready to go. All the papadums, everyone's been eating these already. They're so yummy. Big bowl of brown rice and of course the curry. It is so beautiful and I need to go and feed my family because they are all Yeah, so like I said, I'll link all the ingredients and that below for you. So if you want to try and give this curry a go, you can. I hope you've enjoyed my curry in a hurry. Well, it wasn't a bloody hurry. It took me quite a while to make it. But anyway, it's all good. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.